Sir, I can take you right here. Um, hello? Oh, hi, did you need help finding something? I'm ready to check out. I've been standing at this counter for 10 minutes and you've been blatantly ignoring me. I'm sorry, ma'am, the line's actually over here. That counter isn't open. But I've been standing here. Okay, but you're not in line. These people have been standing and waiting in line. Well, no one said anything to me because I've been standing here for 10 minutes. And that counter does say it's closed, so. Well, can you call someone? No, I can't. I can take who's next. Oh, well, no, excuse me, ma'am, I'm next. Thank you. Ma'am, I will not ring you up until you get into this actual line. Well, I don't, I don't even know how to do that. Well, the line's right here, so you just look at it, find the back, and stand behind it. Can I just wait here? Sure, but I won't consider you in line. Okay, well, if you're not gonna ring me up, then I'm just gonna leave without paying. I literally don't get paid enough to care. This is line discrimination. Wow, cute necklace. Oh, thanks, my grandma gave it to me. Oh, well, I used to have one that looked just like that, but I lost it recently. Oh, that sucks, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was really special to me, so. Oh, I'm sure I'd be really upset if I lost mine. <laughs> Hmm, where'd you say you got yours again? My grandmother gave it to me before she passed away. Uh-huh, that's a crazy coincidence. <laughs> what is? Well, I mean, I just lost mine a week ago and you show up with one that looks just like mine. <laughs> Weird. Oh yeah, crazy, I wear mine every day. <laughs> yeah, and how, how long ago did you get that? Probably about three years ago. Crazy, it literally looks exactly like the one I lost. <laughs> yeah, a lot of jewelry looks alike, so. Okay, listen, if you just give it back to me now, I won't report you. What? Honey, I, I know that's my necklace. <laughs> no, this is my necklace. Well, explain how I lost one that looks just like that. I don't know, you're irresponsible? At least I'm not a thief. Me either. 911. And I'll just need to see some form of ID for this. What? No, <laughs> I've purchased alcohol here many times. I think you guys know how old I am. Oh, well, the computer makes me scan the ID, so. No, it's okay, I'm, I'm old enough. Okay, no worries, I'll just still need to scan your ID. <laughs> That seems extremely inappropriate. Sorry? My ID has all my personal information on there, which means you don't get to see it. Okay, no worries, I just can't sell this to you then. Okay, I, I clearly I'm over 21 years old. I mean, look at this jacket. Well, I never want to assume, and plus it makes me scan it. I've never heard of that, that's preposterous. Okay, well, that's the law. Well, I won't be participating in your merry-go-round of nonsense today. Sounds good, have a nice day. Please ring me up, just as soon as you give me that ID. Oh, you are single-handedly making my life more difficult. Okay, you know what? How old are you? Old enough? For what? To party? <clears throat> Go sit down. Thank you. Hi, I just want to make you aware that my son is going to be sitting over there by himself while I run some errands. Okay, so if he needs anything, I told him he can come ask you and you'll be able to help him. Oh, well, I, I get off in 20 minutes, so I- Oh, that's fine. I don't really care who watches him, just as long as someone's keeping an eye on him over there. Okay, but how long are you gonna be gone? He looks pretty young. Oh, it shouldn't be more than like three hours. Okay, ma'am, no one here is gonna be able to be responsible for your child. No, 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 you don't have to do anything besides just make sure that he's okay over there. Right, but I can't babysit your child while I'm preoccupied doing a totally different job. No one here is gonna be able- You won't even know he's there. He's very independent. Is there a reason you can't bring him with you? Because he's an absolute handful. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. I just need you to make sure he doesn't get hurt or kidnapped, he has something to drink, just the easy stuff. Ma'am, I said no. Seriously, it's that big of a deal you can't just do me a favor? Seriously, you can't watch your own child? You're rude. Can I do cash back in this line? Yeah, absolutely, I can do that for you. Oh, perfect, I just need like $200. Okay, just go ahead and swipe your card and I can give you the cash. My card? Yeah, so you can get the cash back from your card? No, no, I just need cash, like from the register. I'm sorry, I think there's a misunderstanding. This isn't like a reward system where you get free money. Yeah, but I'm a member here and I heard that you guys give cash back? Yeah, from your own bank account, we can give you cash. Wait, but you just told me you had money in the cash register. Yeah, but not just to give you. Sweetheart, <laughs> I think you're confused. I'm a member, I need cash, I need cash back, so. Okay, you said $200? Well, after all this, make it 220. Okay, here you go. Wait, this is Monopoly money. Yeah, cause you're playing games with me, right? How we doing? Your food will be out shortly. Great, and when will you be bringing my hot towel? Your towel? Yes, the hot towels that are served before the gourmet meal. Oh, sorry, we're not that fancy. We don't have hot towels. Okay, but my, my hands are dirty. What am I supposed to do? Oh, well, our bathrooms are right over there if you need to wash your hands. Excuse me, that is unsanitary to go into a bathroom before eating. Right, well, we also have hand sanitizer up at the front. I am recovering from scoliosis. I don't need that anywhere near my body. <laughs> I am confused at that correlation, but no worries. I'm sorry, we just don't have hot towels. Okay. Are, are you taking my picture? Yep, and I'll be sending these over to the health department. Okay. Server is refusing to give sanitary items in dirty restaurant. 
know what, ma'am? I think we might actually have a hot towel in the back. Just give me one second. Thank you. God, the service here is... <gasps> Was that hot enough for you? Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. Yeah? Hi. This is gonna sound really weird, but there's been some complaints from the customers that there is an animal in here. Uh-oh. I know, right? And some people have been saying that they saw it with you, so... Me? Really? Yeah, so I just have to ask, did you bring an animal in here? No, definitely not. No. I didn't think so. It's just that... I'm sorry, what is that? What is what? I, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's a literal rat on your shoulder. What? Oh, it's just Buttons. She's my little buddy. Okay, so you do have an animal in here. No, I like to think of her as a friend. Okay, is she a service animal? She's just my little shopping partner. I'm gonna take that as a no. You know, she's a little tired anyway, so I'm gonna just put her away. Okay, well, thanks for putting her away. Was there anything else I could do for you? Is that another rat? Where? Okay, ma'am, we're not doing this again. And is it just the two of you today? Uh, for right now, yes. Okay, did you have more people coming? Yeah, but just a few more people, it's no big deal. Perfect, do you know about how many in your party? Um, about 23. Excuse me? Uh, 23? You see, my son Aerosmith here is having his birthday party, so we invited all his little friends and the parents, so we have about 23, it's a full house. <laughs> right, well, in that case, it, it will be a bit of a wait. What? Well, we don't have availability for 23 people at the moment. That doesn't make sense. You were about to just sit us with two people. Right, because I do have room for two people, just not 23. But I brought a balloon. Next time if you make a reservation, we can make sure something is available. Okay, so I'm supposed to update you on every decision I make ever? No, but if you're expecting to sit immediately with 23 people, you're gonna have to let us know. I don't think throwing some tables together is that big of a deal. I can physically put tables together, but no one's gonna come serve you. Fine, then can I make a reservation for right now? No. Hi there, welcome to- I was already here, I just have a question. Okay. I'm just curious as to how this place still operates when everyone here is so lazy, incompetent, and unfriendly. Excuse me? Well, I just got my order and walked all the way to my car to realize that you guys forgot napkins. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Here's a whole bunch. No, too late, because if I had my napkins already, I wouldn't have had to walk all the way back here to complain about this. Well, if you're not gonna take them, I'm not really sure how to help. So I'm just wondering how it's possible that this place still runs when you can't even appropriately fulfill an order. Was there something wrong with your food? There's always something wrong with the food. Can you be more specific? What does that have to do with anything? I came in here to talk about napkins, not food. So please stop trying to distract me. Okay. Oh, you think this is funny? I suggest you wipe that smirk off your face before I smack it off you. Ma'am, if you touch me, you won't be welcome back to this establishment ever again. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Welcome in. Did you want to try our $5 chicken nugget box today? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. That'll be $11. Wait, didn't you say this was $5? Yes, it's our $5 chicken nugget box. Mm-hmm. Right, so why is it $11? Oh, well, it's just all the taxes. That that doesn't make sense. Why would the tax be more expensive than the actual meal? Oh, well, it's just because of all the, you know, add-ons and little things like that that just kind of add up. But it is the $5 box for $11. Correct. Well, can we just take off all of the add-ons? No. Okay, you guys should call it the $11 box. I, I don't get it. Because it's not actually $5. <laughs> Oh, well, it's just easier to advertise it that way. Okay, but you're advertising something you don't have. Yeah, but it just sounds so much better. I'm gonna go. I don't understand. It looks like you're still short about $3. Oh, um, are you able to just cover it? No. <laughs> Seriously? All right, let me see if I got anything in here. Hold on. No worries, take your time. Psst, she doesn't know I know this hack. I'll just take one of these. Okay, uh, how much did you want to put on the gift card? Um, whatever the max is for that. Looks like the max is 500. Let's do 500. Okay, uh, so then your total is $503. Perfect, and you should already have my card. Uh, I don't think you gave me your card. Yeah, no, the gift card. Well, y you have to put money on it before you can spend it. Uh, there's $500 on there, so swipe away. This isn't just free money, and even if you spent 500 for the card, you would still owe the $3. Was this your first time using a gift card? You just swipe it. <sighs> she doesn't know I know this hack. Get out. Are you open? Yep, you ready to check out? No, I'm wondering if the store is open. Yep, the open sign's on the door. <laughs> well, I'm just asking because I tried to come yesterday, but you guys were closed. Oh yeah, we were closed for the holiday. Hmm, must be nice. Yeah, it was. Were you ready to check out? Not really sure. I wanted to buy something yesterday, but you guys weren't open. 
Okay, well, you're welcome to buy it now. Well, honey, this is the consequence of not being open and available to your customers on regular business hours, because now I don't want to buy anything. Well, we also have our online shop and you can access that 24 seven. No, 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 that was closed too. The website? Yes, I tried to go on there and it said no internet connection. Right, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. If so, how are you gonna make it up to me? I can check you out right now. Well, can't you apply an inconvenience discount? No. So you're just willing to lose my business? Yes. Did you have an appointment? Yes, for nine o'clock? Okay, um, nine o'clock tomorrow? No, for this morning, I'm just running a little bit behind today. Oh, okay, yeah, you're six hours late for that appointment, so unfortunately I'm not, well, I mean, you know how it is with all the traffic and whatnot. Right, are you from out of town? No. Oh, okay, well now that it's three o'clock, I'm not gonna be able to squeeze you in today, but I'd be happy to reschedule for you. No, 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 but I had an appointment. Right, I, I do see that, it's just that you missed that appointment. Um, no I didn't, I'm here now, it's the same day, what's the problem? I don't have availability. Excuse me, your time management is not my problem. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Okay, so let me get this straight. I make an appointment, I drive all the way down here and you can't even be a little bit flexible? Yeah, I'm sorry, we're fully booked today. Are you serious? I'm I'm going to scream. Ma'am, that is completely your prerogative, but it will not change the outcome. No, I'm gonna do it. I'll just call the police. <laughs> oh, and I have a coupon. Okay, no problem. It should be right here, got it. Oh, perfect, okay. Wait, something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry, wh where did you get this coupon? Oh, they, they were just handing them out around the corner. Oh, okay, I just have never seen a coupon like this before. Are you new here? That's that's understandable, just ring it on up. Nope, not new here, I'm just confused because this is handwritten. It, it's probably one of those fonts that look like it's handwritten. No worries, just put in the 20% off. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure who gave this to you, but this isn't a valid coupon. What are you talking about? Well, because you can't just make your own coupon on an index card with a Sharpie. <laughs> well, you should still honor it. It doesn't even say it's valid. It says it expired in January. What? Let me see. It's just right there. Oh, I see the problem. Hold on. There, it's valid. Just give it to me. I don't even care. Come on, Brandon, you got this. Thanks, mom. Woo, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Oh, everyone is so supportive here. That's so sweet. Ma'am, do you mind keeping politics out of this? We're just trying to watch a kid's game. What, what are you talking about? Let's go, Brandon. We're all just trying to enjoy the game. I don't know why you had to start that. Oh, no, 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 Brandon's my kid. Everyone's just being so supportive. No, they're not trying to support your kid. It's a Donald Trump thing. What? Yeah, it's a thing they do, I don't know. Let's go, Brandon. No, 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 everybody, shh. Let's go, Brandon. Seriously, please, I really didn't want to. Wow, everyone loves me. No, 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 sweetheart, they don't love you. What? Just keep playing, it's okay. Let's go, Brandon. It's okay, shut up. Mom, what did I do? I just want to let you know I'm putting in my two weeks. What? You're leaving? Yeah, I actually got another job opportunity. I don't understand. If you leave, we'll be understaffed. I'm sorry, that's why I wanted to let you know now. No, 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 hold on, because I was going to ask you if you could help with Linda's shift in two weeks, if you could cover that. I mean, yeah, that's one shift is fine. And then that following Friday, we have that fundraiser. So would you be able to take time off your new job to volunteer? No, I'll be starting my other position by then. But you should be prioritizing your current job, which is me. But in two weeks, it won't be my current job. While you're still on the clock, I need you to be committed to this job. Yeah, absolutely. I'll still be here for two weeks. <sighs> this is really just throwing me for a loop. I actually wanted to ask you if you could do this side project here, but maybe you could do it at your other job. No, you're being unreasonable. Can I help you find anything? Oh, 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 <sighs> clean up on aisle 12. <laughs> Not a problem, I can get someone to clean that up. Yeah, I don't know why you scared me like that. Oh, my apologies. And I don't have to pay for this, right, since this was your fault. <sighs> well, it was an accident, so no big deal, don't worry about it. Good, because if you tried to get me in trouble for this, my husband is a lawyer, so. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying to. I know, I know, you don't need to get so defensive, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh no, how does this keep happening? It's not a problem. Well, if it was a problem, it would be your problem because you're the one that keeps coming over here and making me <laughs> bump. Well, I don't think I have any influence on your body movements, but I don't like accusations. I don't think anybody does. This has been a pretty bad experience for me, hasn't it? Has it? I'll be leaving a bad review. You have a nice day. <laughs> Done, you're paying for everything. Done. 
oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of tattoos you got there. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I just, I never understood why someone would want to do that to their own body. Well, you know, ink isn't for everyone, so. Wow, I can't imagine how someone like you gets a job with your arm looking like that. Well, actually- Because you see, I'm a hiring manager and I wouldn't even interview you if you walked into my office looking like that, so I'm just curious. No, actually, I'm a content creator. Oh, well, I'm sorry to tell you that those things are still gonna be there when you decide to get a real job. Yeah, I really appreciate that advice. Uh, look, the line's moving. <laughs> Don't you think you're setting a bad example? I mean, how old are you? You look so young. I'm a bad example? You don't even know me. I'm just trying to buy a Red Bull. So, um, this is a really weird conversation. Okay, there's no need for an attitude. I'm just asking questions. Yeah, just please don't. Look, the line, it's moving. If you don't want people asking about your tattoos, you shouldn't have gotten them. Oh, that's not a thing. That's not a rule in society. You have a bad attitude and I, I want you out of my face. Are you like not gonna buy anything? Like the door is that way. You could just, you know, no one's keeping you here. You're not a hostage or anything. <laughs> Excuse me, I have an important phone call to make. So I don't leave my house. 10 for. We got a call about a public dispute. Do you know the freaking cop right now? Yes, that is her, officer. What the hell? No, I'm looking for the woman that called in. We have a warrant for her arrest. What? Yeah, a lot of unpaid parking tickets. Wow, what a horrible example you're setting. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Did we need more time with the menu? Mm, what's good here? Oh, well, my favorite is the chicken marsala and the cheese steak. Ugh, I don't like those things. Okay, do you know what type of food you're in the mood for? Well, I asked you because I don't know what I want. Right, well, we do have our burger list right here. We have different types of sandwiches. We have pasta. I know, I have the menu right in front of me. I can read, okay? So I'm asking you what you think I should get. Uh, well, if you're not too hungry, you could always try one of our appetizers. My favorite, oh no, no, I'm starving. I could eat anything right now. Okay, well, how about I give you a little bit more time to look everything over? No, thanks. Okay, do you know what you want? Can you just bring me some bread and some cheese on it? So like a grilled cheese or? Yeah, but just make it a little bit more fancy. Fancy how? I just wanna order, okay? It doesn't need to be this complicated. Okay, yeah, just tell me what you want specifically. Well, what would you recommend? Hi, are you open? I'm in a rush. Yeah, I'm open. I already know it's gonna be 8.75, so here's a 20 and I'll just take the cash back. Okay, great, let me just pull up the register here. Well, I'm kind of in a hurry, so I just need my change. <laughs> I kind of have to wait for the register. <sighs> okay. She's a little slow this morning. <laughs> seriously, I'm really running late here. And I seriously can't do anything until the register tells me what to do. I don't understand, I just need cash back. Well, because I don't know how much to give you. What? I don't know how much to give you. It's just simple math. Yeah, not really a math person. You can't figure this out. No, okay, no, I, I can't. Not even simple math will compute up here. So if you could just hold on one moment for the register. I'm sorry, I- And now you've embarrassed me. I didn't know what the change was either. I was just hoping you'd be able to tell me. Well, I can't, but the register says it's 11.25. So I heard that uh, Billiam had to sit out during recess today. So uh, I just wanted to know what happened there. Yes, yeah, so he was actually hitting other students out there with sticks. So we just had him sit out for five minutes so we could just go over playground expectations. Aw, well, I really wish you would have called me first so I could have talked to him. Oh, well, we were in the middle of recess. I didn't pull out my phone. Uh -huh. Well, so for our family specifically, we don't we, we don't believe in discipline. It's, he doesn't like it. I don't like giving it. It's too many tears and I don't like to see him upset. So next time, if you could just call me or just ignore it. I understand that. But when he's in my classroom, I'm responsible for him and everyone else. So I need to make sure everyone is safe. So when rules are broken, there are consequences. Yeah, but like as a teacher, it's not really on you to, you know, determine how to handle his behavior. Oh, when he's in my classroom, it absolutely is. So you just get to smack my kid around and I don't get to say anything? I've never put my hands on any child. Okay, well from here on out, he has my permission to use those sticks. And what happens when he gets hurt? Well, that's on your watch. 